Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these Bar S. These are donut dogs. They're old fashioned cake. Um, these are donut flavored batter, eight donut dogs in the box. Um, it says they're old fashioned cake donut flavored battered dipped uh, franks on a stick made with chicken pork added, smoke flavoring added. Um, so basically corn dogs, but the outside tastes like a donut, supposedly. We bought these at Save a Lot for $4.49, which you get eight, so I don't think that's too awfully bad. Um, don't know if you can see that or not. Hold on. Let me adjust things. Mm. Hello? Focus. I don't think it's going to focus. Hold on. Touch. There we go. Um, so it is, probably can't read it still, but one dog is 220 calories. Tammy will have a picture anyway. So here's the other information if you want it. But like I said, Tammy will take a picture, so it doesn't matter. Um, directions are on the bottom. These are frozen, by the way. Just sit down. Doesn't know how to focus. Focus. Having problems focusing today. So uh, you can do this in the oven if you want to from frozen or thawed. You can deep fry them from frozen or thawed. They're probably better thawed, honestly. But you can also microwave them. So if they're thawed, you microwave them for 35 seconds. If they're frozen, you do it for 60 seconds. It says turn the donut dogs over halfway through the heating time. So when you put it in there, flip it over. Um, they vary just, just accordingly. So let's see what these look like. The in a package, yeah. Feels like one big bag. Yeah, it is one big bag of, of donut dogs. I'll make one uh, for right now, just for the video, and um, yeah, I'll just put it on a pa uh, paper plate and microwave it for 30, flip it over 30 more seconds, and then it'll be done. So I'll be right back. Hey, here it is out of the microwave, and it really doesn't look much different. It started kind of falling apart, but um, feels pretty warm. So I'm gonna get this over and uh, try it out. I didn't really let it cool off much of any time at all. So here we go. You can see the hot dog kind of in the, on the end here. Hot. You can tell the difference in the texture. Um, a traditional corn dog is made with cornmeal. It's a corn dog. Um, it's made with a cornmeal batter and they're dipped in a cornmeal batter and then deep fried. And they taste uh, more like a cornbread. You know, they're, they got that grainy texture of the cornmeal. Um, these are definitely cake-like. They have a, a more of a bread-like texture instead of a corn texture or grainy texture. I think I would rather have a corn a corn dog with a cornmeal. However, um, these are good. They, they're a little softer. Um, the, the actual breading is the, the hot dog itself in the middle is fine. It's just a traditional hot dog. Um, not super strong flavor, but it's okay. Um, you really taste the the bread, the cake around the outside. I don't know if they really taste like a donut necessarily. I think it would have needed some. Uh, glaze or sweetness or something like that on the outside to really taste like a donut, but um, it is very cake-like. Um, you know, not bad, honestly. Um, you get eight of them, you can make them pretty quickly in the microwave. I would recommend you thaw them first and have them in the refrigerator, then put them in the microwave, don't uh, go from frozen, because I think the frozen just makes these a little softer. Um, they're not wet by any means, but it does make them a little um, mushier than they would have been i think if you had enough and if you put them in the oven they're it's not going to be in long enough to really crisp it up so i think it's fine um either way i don't think it'll make a huge difference now deep frying it will crisp them up so if you're going to do them in the deep fryer you're probably going to uh, have a little coating on the outside that's crispy um, that's probably the best way to do it honestly if you got a deep fryer but anyway microwave's fine oven's fine whatever you want to do it um flavor i think they're good I'm going to surprise you and give this a four out of five. I do think they're good. They're unique enough to where if you eat corn dogs, you already like corn dogs. These are unique enough to where you should try them out um, because they're, they are different. They're not the best food ever by any means. And they're not even um, as good as some of the other things I give fours. But I think just because they're so different and so unique, I'm going to give it a four just for that reason. This really, I mean, you could eat this with ketchup and mustard, but it really just, it's kind of a sweet flavor. So it's better off if you just eat it by itself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.